yes, I would love I would love someone to be my eyes. I'll hold your hand. It's very kind of you, madam. You're it's welcome. actually a tengu, not a madam. Hey, I'm a, I'm a lady drink. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not drinking, and that's never. <laughs> Let's stay in the trees that... and try to move up to this little bush right here, stealthing up here into this one here. Okay, when you move up to that forward tree, like, you're not sure whether it's a reaction to your moving forward or whether it was just going to happen anyway, but a burst of snow in wintry weather shoots out of the weather portal and reduces certain... So I gotta get the chart for range combat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the weather environment it is the strong wind okay okay so Mark, a minus see. two penalty on range attacks so like a strong wind there's lots of flurrying going on all of a sudden uh, I think your perception check is reduced by a certain amount minus two wow okay so sure okay yeah pretty thick wind are pretty thick snow flurries. Let's press on. Can you even see where you're going? He can't Never see could. all. I can see 30 feet ahead of me. <laughs> I think they call that uh, 22 uh, vision. 22 instead of 2020? Yes. You can see 20 really close. But two really far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'm just going to go up and I'm just going to be like, yep. Doing my thing. Okay. Weapon out. Shield out. Okay. Cautiously approaching. Yep. Where's the monk? Vaguely. You can move. Uh, you should be able to move your um, token around there, Siren. By the way. Hmm? What token? You are You're... the bird with the sword. Right here. <laughs> but you picked that one. That's pretty. <gasps> there they are. <laughs> bird life, you. <yeah. laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, as each of you walk past the tree line, you know, you're hit by that wave of weather in the face, and, you know, maybe you have to hold a hand or a wing up in order to block snow from getting in your eyes. Or a shield. Just... Four low igloos stand here in the snow. A well-packed trail of large footprints passes between them, heading both north and west. All right, um, I guess our first step is to check out what they're actually bringing into the cave. Okay. Yeah. So, I make my way. Lead the way, Birdman. All right, you check out the cave. Fantastic. All right, two bearskin rugs cover most of the damp floor in this cave, surrounded by crates, barrels, and other supplies. The ceiling just... rises 15 feet overhead, where icicles of frozen condensation hang from sharp stalactites. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, is there a way that I can, like, uh, test the uh, the icicles for if they're gonna fall on us or whatever? Yeah, but we'll do that in a second. Cause. <laughs> Are you gonna yodel? I'm going to yodel. What a fascinating question. Yodel -la 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 <laughs> can everyone make a perception check? Sure. <sighs> That's negative two, right? Nope. Twenty-one. That's okay. add the minus two to that too. Plus no, no, no. Mine was nine before, so I've already added it. So. Boop. Yeah. No one makes it. What twenty? Yeah. They have a I plus twenty-one. 20. They have a plus twenty to stealth. So what does that mean? <laughs> Their stealth is very good. Okay. Unless they roll a one. They're still really good. <laughs> So what, well, if then I... we'd even have a chance. Okay, yep. So I'm just going to go into the cave and check it out, I guess. Continue. Yep. Like, I'm going to pop, uh, pop some crates and stuff like that. And yeah, whatever. While you're popping those crates, things happen. Um, 
and everyone roll initiative, and then I think someone put the initiative macro in the Skype chat for Gamer. Yeah. I put it, I put it in there, yeah. All right, so what you do is copy-paste that, Gamer. In the upper right-hand corner of roll 20, there's a thing called macros. You go to add. Make a macro called init or initiative, and then paste that text in there. And the 1D20 that. plus 5, point, po, 5 in tracker? Yep. Yep. And also yeah, change it 2.2 to whatever your initiative is. It'll probably be 2.2. Yeah, your initiative is going to be 2. Wow, really? Yeah. Shit. The deck score. Psychic. All right. And... and to do it, uh, select your token, just click on it, and uh, do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Julie, do the thing. And you said it's going to be 2.2? 2. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because Beautiful. your dex is 2, and you don't have improved initiative or reactionary. Good song. Favorite. What? Don't worry. So. How does this work? No, no, no. Um, you click it. You click on your character, and then down the bottom left of your screen, there'll be a button that says int. Okay. Well, you have to Again, check. Again, on the macros area, you might have to like click something called in bar next to your macro, and then show macro quick bar. Yeah, that should work for you. I did. Now, uh, click, click your button. character, and, and then click the hold button. your character and click the button, and it should give you, you know, a roll. click your character. All these mm. things will pop up, and click the button. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Penny and the bandit come out. You <laughs> <laughs> full bandit Dan and ten penny Tacy. You shouldn't have let us they, walk out. What are they doing right now? Probably getting drunk. They're terrorizing. They met up with that drunk monk guy, and they're like, "I want to be a monk." And evil bandit Dan's like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. man, screw these levels and expert. I want to be a monk." Screw these levels of expert. I want to be a monk. There we go, that worked. So they work? Point two. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Okay. So here's what happens in round one. This tree right here turns into a giant hulking ice monster. That's one thing. Yeah. towards you with this super huge speed. Oh my gosh. Oh my scary. god. Quick, burn it. From around a <laughs> corner, this guy pops up. He has a stone, and he is going to throw it at the paladin slash whatever, my dude. The new guy? Floracle. Floric. <clears throat> okay. He is zinging a thunderstone at you. God damn it. Yep. Things about to get real for you, bro. All I'm right. You be Pikachu. That's two plus two. 22 is definitely going to hit you. Yep. <clears throat> Let's look at Thunderstone. Uh, you're going to need a fort save from probably all of you. Really? Yeah. So this thing is a stone that when it collides with something, explodes, and can <laughs> deafen people around it. It's super loud. Oh, god damn it. What range? 10 foot fort radius, save. DC 15 fort save, or be deafened. And it was target as a dance character? Yep, so you're good. Ho, oh, baby! Jason's good. Chazon, you take deafened. Yeah. And you lose four initiative. Blind and deaf. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Pat, gonna need you to also make a check. It's a fourth save. How long am I deaf for? You are deaf for one. 21? Yep, you're good. All right. And then Team Archery is gonna try to shoot the Tengu. Which one? Dodge. Uh, new Tengu, not old Tengu. Dodge. Start her out right, right? Get her, yeah. Uh, they have plus eight to shoot. Dodge, dodge, dodge. 
All right, well. You have, you have grab arrows, right? She does not have grab arrows. All right. nice. I, I, I think a 23 is definitely going to hit you. Ouch. The 12 I think 23 is going to hit everyone in this party, to be honest with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this deals... Earth is two minus two damage, and then you take numb and cold. Wait, do they do they get buffeted for the wind as well? They're inside the igloo. Wait, what? Ooh. They're shooting from inside an igloo. Oh, those guys over there. Yep. Okay, yeah. Hey! Oh, you finally let me pick you up. Kitty! Cat! Alright. So, um, you're going to take one... Two damage, because each one deals 1d2 minus 2, so it's always going to be one damage. And then you have to make two fort saves. Mm -hmm. If you fail them, you are staggered, which means you can only take one action. Meaning no flurry of blows or full round attack. I failed one. Alright, yeah, you're staggered. I don't even, do I even need to yeah, roll the other you one? You can't be double staggered, so no. Okay. Alright, and that is a surprise round. Mason! Some sort right. of stone flew through the air and hit the paladin and exploded. Now everybody's like, what's going on? So, um, does this wind buff it? Like, Tiny little people? Yes. And does it like, affect melee attacks? No. Okay. Um, Mason will then use his... Um, uh, my special awesome... Uh, Inquisitor ability. Which one? Uh, the one that allows me to um, whirlwind some poor goober. Uh, you mean your thunderclap ability? Yeah, uh, is it called thunderclap? I don't think it is. Let me just check. It's in the weather yeah. domain. It's called stormburst. Yeah. And um, something. Yeah. So I'm going to what looks like the biggest meanest guy that I can see. I can't. I can probably troll thing. Can I see this guy over here? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'm the going to The question is, him. is he in range? It's only 30 feet. No. Yeah, he's super far away. Either way, you're going to have to move forward to do it. Where does the buffeting start happening? As soon as you exit the cave. So I can shoot an arrow from here and I'll be fine? Um, yes. Then I will shoot an arrow. Okay. Um, Ouch. What's the range again? It's 30, right? 30. I thought you were going to shoot an arrow. I am, yes. Okay. What's the range of the arrows, I mean? That's what oh, I'm 100 feet. 100 feet. Well, then I'm going to shoot the big guy. Okay. Um, There's an igloo in the way. Yeah, he, I'm... How tall is this guy, man? He's igloos aren't that big. Five feet tall. Oh, no, actually, you're right. Yeah. He's actually this big. You definitely can see him, because he's this big. Yeah, right. Oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, great. Shoot, I'm going to shoot the shit out of him with... Um, Come at me, bro. Yeah, I'm just, sorry. It's been a while since I played this character. I'm just trying to work ahead. All right, come at me, bro. I got a cat. So Ow. my bab is two now. Okay. And um, it's plus four. So I roll a six. D20 plus six. Yeah. Yeah. And a an nail. And then damage is just a 1d6, I believe. 21 will hit. Plus. What's the plus one for? Uh, oh, that's strength. Yeah. Two. Ugh. Flop, dude. Ow. Yep, you deal two points of damage. That I creature in the back is like. Rah. <laughs> right, it's his turn. On his turn, all that damage you just did goes away. His wounds what? start sealing up, and he's like, ha, ha, ha. Is he a troll? He begins saying in the giant language, he's like, Nuna, Kanawanta, ha, ha, solo. I think he, can he charge Iviega? Through the igloo? Can he see EVX? I'm, I'm stealth too. That's a good point, but he did watch you walk over there. He will make a. Pro oh, he has scent. Mm, this is tough. I'll give it to you, though. Um, it's windy, what was man. your cell score? 17. 
No. Okay, he moves here and then moves here. Uh, which now, with his claws, he can reach Kath. He has 15 foot reach with his claws. He's also holding a giant spear, as you can see. Which actually yeah. gives him 20 foot, so he can reach the paladin from there. And as you might know, D. Viega, from that location, he can also stab you once you reveal yourself. Um, does uh, the dervish skill give me, like, dance evasion by any chance? No. No. It just okay. lets you do dex to damage. Okay. With a scimitar. Yep. E. Viega. Your first I'm... shot against your target, they'll be flat-footed, and so the guy won't be able to attack you back, but every other shot will provoke AOs. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't like being that close when I'm using a bow. So Can you climb guy... up the tree? Wait, something? this guy has a long spear? Yes. He has <laughs> a magical spear. Is it a long spear, though? It is a spear. He has you want long arms on top of it, so... Is this specific type of spear reach weapon? No. So he only has 15 foot reach with his claws. Okay. So he can only reach Kath and Eviega, apparently. Uh, Alright, Eviega. You're, am... you're in a tree, what are you gonna do? Can are you gonna let me climb up the tree or want me to do another stealth roll? You're you're already stealth. So. You want me to do another stuff if I climb if I climb up? Um, the tree's only like 10 feet tall, so... Okay, never mind, that's not worth it then. Yeah. I'll full withdrawal. I already uh, assumed you were at the top of the tree. Oh, I never said I was going to the top of the tree. Oh. But, I... I just said I was hiding in and by it, so... Okay. I'm probably full, I'm gonna full withdrawal over here, and then... That's still gonna provoke, because you're gonna be walking right past him. Boom, lawyer. There's no, I mean, there's no lawyering. The withdrawal, only the first oh, step space, doesn't provoke. Space, and he has yeah. 15 foot reach, so you're yeah. walking through a lot of squares. You can try to roll past him. He could be done. <sighs> if you want to do that extra slow motion roll in snowshoes. <sighs> Listen to all these people that are like only 15 foot reach. I have a character only. that are like second level has like 25 foot reach and he's only medium size rather than large <sighs> I think I'll just hold I just think I'll just hold for right now I don't right, like being that going close to delay yes okay All right, I'm just gonna put oh. you down here somewhere I just don't like the uh right I'm that close to him with a bow all right this little dude right here is up next he starts casting a spell Spellcraft? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see, that's plus five. Can you see him? I think so. He's within 30. Yes. You identify he's casting Summon Monster 1. Fuck, take him out! What does that mean? More that enemies. We're about to get company. Oh, he's a summoner? Okay. Or he's summoning. Can I throw a dagger to interrupt? Yes, on your turn, you could start, if you damage him, he will have to concentrate on the spell to prevent from losing it, so yes. Uh, these guys are going to shoot uh, Kath again, although the difficulty is going to be considerably higher. Uh, so they have a minus eight on that. So why'd you roll plus eight then? Because <laughs> it literally is <laughs> 30 hater. Hater. Listen, hater, <laughs> uh, What is your AC currently, Kath? 14. I believe. 14. Was. Yeah. Is it only 14? Should, should be 15 if should you took dodge. Should be 15 because you had dodge. Yeah, 15. So they both miss. So they fly past the troll and get caught in the wind and just sail right past you. They hit the paladin's armor and plink off annoyingly. Ow. Uh, Eviega, if you want to come out of delay, you can do so or we can keep throwing you in delay. You know, I... Yeah, I'll probably come out. I'm gonna pull back here, though. Okay. All right. Yeah, you you're withdrawing and, back there. And I'm smiting him. Okay, you withdraw and smite. Sure. The smite goes through. All right, Kath. You're out there in the front. <clears throat> I'm gonna toss. 
toss a dagger at the one that's casting. Okay. Just to let you know, you're making a ranged attack while within the area you're being threatened at. Mm -hmm. So this guy can attack you while you're doing that. It's not going to cause you any penalties. You'll just be open to a hit. Okay. Okay. All right. Make your throw, and then I'll do the concentration check for the little guy if you hit. And the so, counterattack. What should I be rolling on? Uh, it's going to be a d20 plus your dex modifier plus your <laughs> bab, which is one. Dex mod. Which is... Monks only get bab at second level? Yeah. That's fucked up. They only get three-quarter bab. Yeah. Two. The thing is, when they use flurry of blows, they're treated as using full bab. So plus three, then. Okay. All right. All right. Make your plus three throw. 21. Yeah, you hit. Sweet. Boom. The wind catches your dagger slightly, but you anticipated that on the throw, and you hit him. Roll yeah. your damage. Woo! Which is going to be whatever a dagger is. It's like a d4 or something, plus strength. All right. And How many um, alchemist fire did you have on your character sheet before None. you died? No. Oh, I didn't die. I, I think I Dead. had one. I, 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 spent, it's, I spent mine. It's yeah. still on the compendium. So I, 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 I had two skills, Six damage. So I guess I have three now. Right. You attempt to interrupt his spell, but he holds on to it for long enough to continue casting. <sighs> okay. Uh, and you don't do full damage to him. Yeah. Why? Perhaps one of your companions could explain. Damage reduction. Certain creatures have damage reduction against certain types of weapons. Yeah, makes like, sense. Like these guys are fairies. Yeah, totally makes sense. So, all right, I am still deafened, so I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna try to cast something. Okay. I'll let you know. Check. Yeah, I'll make a percentile roll because I'm deafened. Oh. Why? Why does deafened stop one. you from casting spells? Because I can't you're... hear myself talk. Yeah. If you're deafened, it's hard to do the verbal component. You're all good. right. And I'm going to put Protection from Evil on Kath. Yay! Okay. I'm going to put Protection from Evil on Kath and move up to here. She's our tank with the high hit points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have 19, so I'm not too bad myself. All right, Mason. All right, um, how, uh, how far can I move without him stabbing me? He's casting, right? So. Which person? This guy, guy right here has zero reach. This guy is not casting, and he is currently threatening these two people. Okay, so I can move one square up? Yes. Like that? You could move technically to the left of Chaz, right here. And okay, I'm going to go here, then. If you move any further, you wouldn't take any attacks. Um, am I able to throw a Alchemist Fire from this distance? Yes. Okay, what it's do I need to do tough. to throw uh, you need to roll d20 plus dex plus bad, mm -hmm. and then you take a minus 8 on the throw. So negative 2 then. Kath, okay. you get a plus 2 deflection bonus to your AC, so your AC is now 17. Only against evil creatures. Or you get Only against... Ah, but we already know that the smite went through. Wait, so, right. so if I'm able to, like, <laughs> if I'm able to go there, do I not get the negative 2? No. Okay. The, the re okay, so here's why you're getting the negatives. You get a minus four because you're throwing through an ally, so cover. Oh. And you take another minus four because he's engaging in melee combat with the two of them, so he's using them like shields. So if I move there, would it be different? Uh, yes. But the difference would be if you're standing there, he can hit you while you're throwing. Yeah, right. And there he wouldn't be able to? He would still be able to hit you there, too. Okay. All right, then. You wouldn't there. So the question, e either way, you rolled horribly. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm just, I'm just um, making sure I understand that. So what's gonna happen is I need you to roll a d8, and that's gonna determine where this thing falls. Goodbye, party members. Whoop, that was a fucking d20. <laughs> it's nice. Two. All right, one, two. It hits the tree. The tree sets on fire. You deal one point of fire damage to this guy, and he begins screaming horribly loudly. He's like, Wah! Uh That is not a car. That is a tree, good sir. <laughs> Give him an etiquette lesson. Good going. 
based on. I, I like how ABA goes like GTFO, and then Mason's like, eh! <laughs> and basically blows up the tree that he was in. <laughs> I'm getting in a tactful position. I'm not running away. There's a difference. How much damage does he take? He takes one point of damage. One point of damage. All right. But does he, he... The difference is, and I want to note this, is that he doesn't immediately heal that damage when mm -hmm. his turn comes around. Fire. Fire, burn them all. Uh, burn them no, all. he is going to stab somebody. And I think he's going to stab Kath. Yeah. So get yeah. to that dude in the back who's throwing fire. Dodge. Yeah, Dodge. this is horribly. Dodge me. That's like the first time I've ever seen you roll under a fucking 15 in this game. I swear to God. <laughs> it's, it's fucking haters. Um, it's like a man, you, got, you got hot die. That's all you got. And a six. So that misses too. So he attacks with the spear and then he tries to bite you with his wicked long sharp teeth. I punch him in the face. Nice. Well, your turn is coming up soon, so you can punch him in the face then. I will punch him in the face. Punch him in his dumb, dumb face. <laughs> All Super right. dumb face. What was this guy summoning? He was summoning a fiendish evil. Uh, oh, God. Oh, he was a summoning guy. Yeah, I tried to stop him. All right. yeah, I tried to tell you to take him out. Fiendish evil, you will never die. What is he? Shit. All right. All right, he obviously smites the fuck out of you, Paladin, and that goes through. Shit. This is why you don't you, you don't pick anything other than neutral in Arthur's games because he will punish you for it. I, this isn't me. It's literally in his tactics block. He throws a thunderstorm, smashing it against an armored enemy. He then proceeds to cast Summon Monster One and Summon Fiendish Ingles. And he misses both of them. Not yet. All right, the Fiendish Eagle smites. It rolls 333 three, three on Boom. you, 3d20. It oh. everything. Oh. <laughs> wow! Then he slings a magic stone at you, Paladin, bro. Another magic stone? A hit. Magic stone, not a thunderstone. He needs 23 to, the... to hit you. That, I yes. think, is going to happen. Called he it. needs to be the oracle, bro. Doesn't he go through his own thing? He does. Oh, that's a good point. He does. Then so that's going to be a uh, 19. Team. Not, yeah, 19 still. Does he he's, take he's the too, wind? Isn't... He's in melee. Oh, yeah. that is a good point. The wind he's in melee, melee and the wind. Ooh. He Get can negate the melee self, penalty, it. guys. That's not the problem. Yeah. The wind it's... is going to lower it another two. 17. The wind makes it miss. Okay. No, it's six, 18. Yeah. No, 17. I think it actually still hits you, but skips off like your armor. Like Skips off like my shield. It's like a stealth bomber. It hits one of those planes, one of those flat planes, and bounces off. And... Hang on, hang on. Are you telling me that we have a paladin in the party who has less armor than a fucking Inquisitor? Who's wearing, <laughs> like, hide armor? No. I, I have a 19 AC. All right, Kath. The little dudes in the back fire at you, and one of them gets a 19, which I think is going to hit you. Yeah? You're going to take one point of damage, and then you need to make a foot save versus staggering. That's <laughs> one of those potions, Kath. That's what you should be doing. Foot save. 23? Yeah. You're good. All right. You have a full action next time. Okay, <laughs> Viega. He's fallen asleep on us. No. <laughs> it's, t it's late here. <laughs> well, at least he's not sleeping in the snow with his head down. True. Uh, that was crazy. Get him out there. Generation turn on. Where? Uh, never. The target I smoked. So, wow, that's great. A 15. No. Oh, wait. <gasps> Did you include the minus two for wind? I'm out of the He's wind not now. The wind. Yeah. You're, you're shooting into the wind, though. Okay, that's fine. Then no, I did. All right, it's going to miss. You're at the tree line. You're still in the wind. I thought the wind was like this like, tree line at the top. Yeah. No. The tree is, the tree is trees. Okay. You just said it when I went up to that first. <sighs> So. That was when it started. Okay. It didn't start until you approached the circle. Okay. Well, I would 
Oh, I'll do it later. No big deal. All right, Kath. I'm going to punch the crap out of that guy. All right. You need to move up. You're